Hail me! Well. Are his pubic hair shaped like a little toothbrush mustache? What? Clever. Pubes have to be cultivated, cared for, treated like a little delicate flower, not a nest of weeds. What? Curse you, Satan's offspring and associates, Hope British Columbia Chapter Incorporated! Curse you! He can't hear you, stupid. Mr. First Aid! First Aid? Will you just call this in? Don't tell me how to do my job! You know, I could really do with one of those blankets they're always giving people on TV. Pull yourself together, will you? I need control in this situation! Wow, that sucks, dude. You didn't even get to plower yet, did you? <laughs> Not even a head job. You get back against the wall, dickless! Chill out, crow. Still out. What did you say? Nothing. Handsome Freddy, you're under cocksucking arrest for your own good, son. Hey, maybe we'll get to share a cell. Fat chance, frig hole. I'm sticking you twerps in with the blackest inmates we have. Randy! You'll never take me alive. <laughs> Ow! Police brutality. Uh, get on your feet, idiot. Hey, where did that handsome guy go? Get back here, you dashing bastard! No! Fuck you! Ow! You limb. It's not very nice. You limb. It's not very nice to the dogs save the dogs from you Lynn save the dogs did that video make anyone else hungry for Chinese? inappropriate Angus unlike rape, suicide, mental illness, terrorist attacks, racism, and pedophilia there's nothing funny about animal cruelty just hungry? Get to the point, Teddy! I've still gotta brief the boys on the council assembly! Right, well, I saw this video late last night while I was browsing the French channels for something to flap my bird to. Why? Um, because it feels good. Uh, no, dick piston! Why did you watch that, and why did you bring it here? Oh, uh, cause we're always broke and that's how we can make some Robert De Niro. By watching some poorly produced guilt-fueled infomercials? By making our own. Is there honestly no way to avoid a discussion in this room that doesn't confuse the piss out of me? It's simple, my sad clown friend. We pretend to be a charity for misused animals, so they feel all sad and things and then send us their money. That is greasy, Teddy. Like it's almost as low as the hospital charging people to park. Yeah, wonderful idea, Teddy. Then we can be giant dicks like those people who sell their self-improvement programs by making you feel bad about yourself. Yeah, except unlike those scammers, we actually deliver on our promise by decreasing animal cruelness. And how, if I can momentarily neglect my better judgment and ask, do we do that? Do what we're best at. Hunt down people who hurt their animals? I beat the fuck out of them! Except that humans are technically animals too, so you're actually increasing animal violence. Have the vegans taught you nothing? People don't count. I love that idea actually. Count me in. Yeah, let's do it! Fossum! Peacock sucking nard! Why, everyone likes the idea. Because I'm trying to undermine, uh, I mean, because I've got more urgent business. Charlie, come in here! Suicide Bomber! Get up, stupid! Yeah, get up, stupid. 
Frig off, Cyrus. Teddy, you do realize that you're losing a bottle of wits to your phone, right? So? So I think you better get help. Up yours, man. I'm perfectly normal. And if you say otherwise, I'm gonna have you for discriminating against whatever it is you're accusing me of being. Dumb. Yeah, that's it. You're a dumbophobe. And it hurts. It only hurts because you're soft. As soft as a priest without an altar boy. Is that a dig at me, the church, or erectile dysfunction? Now's not the time to discuss Teddy's ineptitude. Sorry about that, Charlie. Hello, boy. Or as Mohan used to call you, Satan's unwanted test tube children. Now that I am the Prime Minister of Benny and the Bangers, our two clubs will have a much more cordial relationship. You see, boys and Angus, Combs plan went so smashingly that it not only protected us, but the Taliban gang as well. Let's hear it for Colm. What's the problem? You've done it again, Wally. You secretly made a deal with the Indians, and you're praising Colm while undermining Teddy. What are you doing? I'm protecting the future of this club. Look, I know you all love Teddy, but he's got the same problem Stevie had. He's a fucking retard. No offense. I am offended for your information. You better watch yourself, because when you're least expecting it, I'm fucking unfriending you. Teddy, don't say things you can't take back. Maybe I should leave. No! No, you stay, Charlie. I'm leaving. The sushi buffet closes soon. Sushi? Hey, Angus, hold up. Before you go hang out with the other douches at the sushi bar, I need to ask your humble opinion on something. Nope. Fine, then I'll just ask that little perverted guru guy that Wally always goes to. You know, the one that convinced you to- Oh, for the love of f what is it? Right, so, if you're in the shower, you know, washing up and everything, and you kind of, um, stick your finger up your anus hole, does that make you gay? I sure hope not. Not if you're thinking about a chick at the time. God? What the hell are you doing here? I was bored. It's okay, God, I got this. You can get back to, I don't know, whatever it is you do all day long. Nothing. I do nothing. Freddy, where have you been? I mean, nowadays, practically nothing is a sin. So what's left to punish? I've had to lay low. Crawford's out to get me, big time. Mm, lucky bastard. I've dreamt of being a fugitive for as long as I've been short. You know, it used to be a sin to take too many steps on the Sabbath, but now? Can you imagine the outrage if I destroyed San Francisco like I did Sodom and Gomorrah? I'm not exactly a fugitive. What are you then? Sure, just ignore me. Everyone does these days. FM. What I am, Angus, is on board with that charity scam. I think it's brilliant. Well, where's Wally in there seems to feel otherwisely? Well, we'll do it without him if we have to. Righteous, boys. Let's do this. Uh, why? I guess I misread the situation. <laughs> well, this is awkward. Uh, so you guys ever been to Jerusalem? I'm gonna go now. Are you here, a wise one? I'm sorry, but the master has taken an oath of silence and is unable to impart wisdom today. That's too bad, because I had some really nice porn for him. Lots of poop involved. The master will hear your question, but make it quick, he's heap busy passing judgment over social media. Thank you. The situation with Teddy is even worse now. No matter what I do, the crew loves him. The problem is that just like my servant's Facebook account, you don't have enough friends. Ouch. And what do I do about that? The answer has been right under your dick this whole time. Aw, uh, more riddles. Not more riddles, more prospects. Bring more prospects than you can possibly justify into your club, then immediately make them fully-fledged members. Of course, so they can vote. 
Having swarms of desperate chumps in your deck is the key to power. Now make with the porn or I'll have my servant slap you silly! Must I? Yes, of course you must, you putt. And don't repeat this last bit out loud. Whoops. I can't just do that on my own. The others would never allow it. They will if they believe there is an imminent threat. And how do I convince them of that? The master says that if he is to impart this upon you, you must first entertain him with... You know what? <sighs> I'm a little flower growing strong and true, soaking up the sun's rays and nourished by dog poo. Please, sir, please, sir, if you see it fit, give me what I seek, for I really look like a tit. The master says that was delightful. Yeah, delightful. Now what do I do? This is serious. How should I know? Why don't you go ask your new Indian friend? <laughs> <laughs> uh, why do I still come here? <laughs> <laughs>